Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Ixion. In the last episode, we'd performed our first successful jump to another system. For us, this is entirely uncharted space, and we're looking for clues as to where the Protagoras ship has previously been, so that we can find the exoplanet Remus and link up with the rest of humanity. Alright, so we're picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, having literally just arrived here into the Immortan system and into the orbit of Falcon 74, that's the name of the planet. Now we have an event available to go send a science ship down there, check it out, figure out what's going on, and we also got a little tutorial pop-up telling us, hey, you might want to avoid the space storms that are out there. So space weather, we have a visual representation of the map, these big areas are kind of blocked out for us, and if we avoid them, then everything's fine. But if we go into them, the Tycoon might take some damage, but your fleet may not be so lucky. So that basically is telegraphing to us that if we send science ships, mining ships, etc., sounds like they're going to take damage and probably not come back. There are, however, technologies that seem to mitigate that and increase survivability chances in there, so we'll probably avoid these areas, this massive one over here, for as long as I can until we can get some of those technologies just to ensure our protection, because of course, these ships have actually been leveling up, and our cargo ships can even carry a little bit more now because we've been using them for so long. Now, speaking of technology, after the previous episode, I wanted to look through the technology tree a little bit better, because we're struggling to get technology. A lot of people in the comments of the previous episode are saying, get this, get this, get this, and I'm like, how? You know, we don't have any technology coming in. Now, you do generate technology passively in your tech building. We currently get one science every 30 cycles. Most technologies cost about 30. So think about it. We are 250 cycles in, that means we would have generated eight science had this building been active the entire time. It's basically just not worth it. However, you can upgrade the tech lab for the most unbelievable technology ever that should be just super highlighted. You should not be able to miss this, but unfortunately you can. And I feel like that might be a reason a lot of people struggle with the game, or maybe some people, because I nearly missed it. And thank, thanks for all the comments, by the way, that pointed out. I Swear to God, I did manage to find it just after the last episode because I was like, there's got to be another way, and there is. So with assistant promotion here, you can increase the production rate of science to three units every five cycles. So that's a massive gain. It was one unit every 30 cycles. Now it's three every five. So that's going to be great. It's going to be the first thing we're going to research. We have 22 science. So what we'll have to do is send a science ship over to Falcon 74 and then hopefully collect the 15 science that's there. As soon as we have that, we're in business, we're generating passive science. Now, before we let time play, I want to go over some of the objectives, the current situation, get you all caught up and brought up to the same page, and then we'll just let time play. So, our mission is to search for traces of the Protagoras. So, we have three of those objectives to kind of find. Test colonization protocols, train 30 colonists, don't know anything really about that just yet. And then we have the current event, the promise that we gave our people, which was that we would awaken 50 cryonic pods. We're currently at 47 out of 50, so that should be totally fine. For a reminder of how these sectors are all sort of broken down, Sector 1, largely focused on a lot of population, some batteries, some food, space stuff, and I think its specialization is geared towards space. Sector 2, mostly geared towards industry. We have big alloy foundries, electronics factories. We have... Um, uh, polymer factories that take in carbon, food, housing, and batteries. That's basically it. It has its own docking bay, where we currently have assigned three cargo ships that are constantly delivering in all the materials that get refined here. And then we've just opened up our third sector, Sector 3, which is going to be focused on agriculture, I think, unless something else happens later down the line that we change. We've stored up some ice here, we have food stored, and we've kind of laid out where we're going to place down some food buildings. Now we have this event here, which is complete bullshit. Which, <laughs> administrator, the Tycoon has left the solar system. The crew is convinced that they will never again see the stars that saw them born. This necessary step will unfortunately accentuate dead earth sickness. So a negative, permanent negative one to stability. So it was funny because in the last episode when we were hanging around the Sol system, people were like, oh, you're sitting here too long. Negative one stability. We want to go. Where's the rest of our people? And then as soon as you leave, they're like, Oh my god, we're never gonna go home. <laughs> and you just can't please everyone. So that's just the way it is. I meant to cancel this. So just to go over a few other things really quickly, we have a little bit of homelessness in Sector 1. Sector 2 has a health crisis. That's why I just told them to stop de dismantling this building. Because I don't know, I can't really remember what I was thinking at the time, but there's not enough in just the one building. So we'll put the extras in there. And there's a lot of homelessness here, but not enough to actually cause any stability issue. 
In order to have a stability issue from homelessness, you need to have something like 25% of your people not housed. And currently we're, we're okay for that because we have 300 people in here in total. And then Sector 3 has um, no infirmary here either. So that's something you want to get building. So we'll get an infirmary. I'm just going to slam it down somewhere there. And that's going to need alloys. So also between episodes, I did a little bit of resource management. Won't bore you with it, but hopefully I've set some rates now that resources should kind of even out between the different sectors. And we shouldn't have to micromanage it too much during the episode itself. All right, so we can pretty much let time play. Sorry for the long build up there. And also, thank you to everyone that said take your time with the game. Uh, I do appreciate that. It was actually really, really nice. I won't dwell on it, but thank you for... I I'm, I'm glad there's a lot of people out there that like the pace that I go at. All right, so we'll get a probe. We're obviously going to need it in this place. Now, this seems like a perfect time to actually move our docking bay. I've been saying I'd want to move it for a long time. So what I'm going to do is unassign all the ships from it, decommission it, and get it dismantled, and then we'll rebuild it. But this one will unassign one of the, excuse me, cargo ships, put on the Ripley, and we'll send it out from here. So the sign ship can still be busy from here. In fact, well, I was going to say send out two sign ships, but we can't really do that if we don't have any probe locations to go to. So we'll hop back out. We'll select the Ripley, tell it to go to Falcon 74, and we should be good. The very last thing to touch on is our hull integrity is taking a permanent extra 100 irreparable damage. So we've got 200 now out of the... So 1,000 has gone down to 800. Our max is 800. Our trust is good. Power is actually fine. Although a lot of buildings are powered down right now, we want to invest in getting better solar panels on the outside. In order to do that, though, we're just going to need a little bit more polymer than I currently really have. It's 60. We have 40. We could refine more. We have the electronics, but until I find another source of carbon, don't really want to be using up my polymer because we kind of need it to send probes out. Otherwise, we could screw ourselves, right? So we'll have to just throttle the power as best we can until that's ready. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything, um, I think. So let's let time play. There we go. <laughs> A science ship has arrived at its destination. All right, that was actually super fast. They're there already. Let's check it out. So uh, this is Ripley's crew. We've landed on Falcon 74. Gravity is approximately 4.57 meters squared. Uh, meters per second squared. The atmosphere is corrosive. Without shelter, we estimate our survival time to be 2 hours and 27 minutes. At the site of the unusual readings, we found a huge geyser emitting gas that quickly solidifies into cubic particles upon exposure to the planet's atmosphere. We can perform intrusive analysis, temp temporary study center, or establish infrastructure to support exploration and geological analysis. That one's the most expensive. It takes the longest. I'm going to do that one. So we'll tell the whale to go deliver the required alloys for that. Off you go. That's going to take four cycles, and we'll leave them there. They're actually gathering the science right now, which is perfect. And we're dismantling this building. So something I need to do, actually, let's turn on the stockpile here. Turn on this stockpile, let them work that, so they can queue up as much of the alloys as they want. We're decommissioning an old infirmary in here. We've got another one there. Everything else is fine. Don't worry about hull integrity, we'll let it fall for a little while. We got the 50 cryonic pods objective done. Don't know if that gives you a trust boost or not, but we're already maxed out, so it's totally fine. Yeah, they're reconstructing that, actually, so that's good. I thought they were still dismantling it, but they're not. Now, there's no more ice out there, so we'll pause this one. And people actually mentioned as well, you can, of course, press tab and go into just power mode. Just see what you can toggle on and off at any time. And if you want, there's a setting so that you don't have to hold alt to see the icons all at once. But I'm just like a minimal UI type guy. If I could, I'd play like this. <laughs> so I don't really want to do that. But every now and then I'll do this, though, for sure. This is a really good tip. I think I did it in the first episode, but just haven't done it since. So we have 68 pods and two buildings thawing them out, so that's totally fine. We are optimal conditions in here. We have about 100 workers not doing anything. Power is really the main blocker. So we'll turn back on the steel mill. I'm going to also build a second stockpile and set it to alloys. Because we've only got one doing alloys. And it's not really enough to carry the alloys out of here. And also distribute alloys to the other sectors. So our transport little forklifts are really busy doing that. Um, this is taking in the iron. So we'll have to open up the iron ore as well. How's our power? Power's okay. Turn on the polymer refinery, turn on carbon. So we'll start making polymers again. And we're building a probe. Excellent, right? All good. No immediate issues either, just yellow issues which aren't too bad. Sector 1 is no longer specialized in space. And that's because we've just removed the docking bay. So we'll just put that back. Let's scoot it over. 
right there. 60 alloys. So 147 in this place. They should be totally fine to take it all out of here. Lots of forklifts are on the go. Love to see it. Alright, we're just going to wait for that probe to get done. Let's just speed up a little bit. Alright, that's been rebuilt. Might as well we have the power and the manpower. Just turn this on, get two people constructing at once, deconstructing and constructing. And we're going to need to build a few more houses. We're really tight on population, but there I did see there is a housing upgrade that we'll probably get as well. Uh, that gives you, I think it's 40 extra people per house. So we currently have 15, it'll give us 40. So not 40 extra, but 40 total. Um, but I don't know if it makes the house bigger or taller, or requires more materials. It doesn't really say, so we'll have to just see. Also want to be building batteries in Sector 3, because if we want to move right now, we power down 1 and 2, but not... At, or, power, sorry, Sector 1 and 2 are fine, but power in Sector 3 stops. So, obviously, you want to be able to keep production going even when you're moving. And we've learned that we want to move around a lot, right? Get close to where we need to go. Our probe is done. So, let's just stick this around. We're going to be looking for science, primarily, and stay on the orbital lines. There we go. That's really close, actually. So we're going to obviously try to send the probes really close by first, and then we'll go further out once we kind of have our mining operations up and running again. Great. Very triumphant music right now. Infirmary is being built, so I can't remember exactly, but this place has set itself to have 50 alloys in here at all times if it can. Obviously we're waiting on trucks to deliver those things in all the time. Uh, let's make another... Let's just set this to auto build. And we'll just make probes constantly as we're in a new system. Uh, and then, yeah, we can put down these extra two houses here. We don't have to build them right away, but we can just kind of block it out and know that they can go there. So because of that negative one, that permanent negative one, we're on kind of neutral stability now. Trust is still gaining though, so I'm okay with that. We could put down some of these stability improvement buildings, but I'm going to wait until we need it. Maybe that's not good forward planning, I don't know, but it just feels like we don't really need to do that right now. All right, our docking bay is being rebuilt, and we want to start getting technology. Are we... Oh, we're actually still not collecting it. We have to wait for the event to be over before we can collect it. That's fine. Oh, there we go. We found DOG0202. Our probe has detected a distress signal near the asteroid. Oh, maybe there was a, oh, a mining ship here in orbit. So we'll send out Francis. Um, we can't do that really, though, until this is done. Tell you what. Could we send the Ripley over? Ripley's doing its event. Okay, yeah. I thought maybe... We could get the other ship to do the event and send the Ripley. We'll just have to wait until that docking bay is done. I could put another science ship on this one, but I'm just, it's fine. We'll just wait for this. It's almost done. And then I'm going to put the Ripley back on this one, have it the way we originally had it. So I'll just speed up time. I think we're all good. Now, something else we could probably do is to turn off some of the food production, because I noticed that it just fills up. And when it's filling up like this, they're not producing anything. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Accident here? Yeah, so that's why I'm trying to get that medical bay built. Can we turn this on as well? How much power would that take? It would be a little bit too much. So let's go power. Dun, dun, dun. Bong. So rerouting power from food to alloys. Allow us to churn through some of that iron ore that we have, which is about 300. Alright, so our docking bay sounds like it's built. It is. So we'll just reassign these ships here. So we'll assign the... Uh... Francis? Yes. <laughs> I say that as a question because we don't want to take that one off its mission. Alright, so Francis. Uh, another assigned ship can go there, and then a mining ship. So we'll put on the cataphract. And now the Francis can head out to DOG. DO G 0202, of course. Uh, another probe is ready. Let's go. Just following the orbital lines until we can come across mostly tech events if we can find them. Getting close here. Something is close by here. There? It's kind of far, actually. I'll just remember that. See if we want to go there in a moment. 
There's materials to grab here, actually. And here. Good amount of carbon and, and iron around us, actually. Uh, okay, we'll go out here then. See what's there. Alright, probe is on the way. Time has been sped up. Signed ship Francis is heading out to DOG. We've got 1.5 cycles left to go on Falcon 74. Now we can start getting our tech. Has arrived at its destination. All right, we're at DOG. We've re reached the asteroid. The mining ship Sheptel was adrift nearby. It appears to have been pierced by a fast-moving object, killing its operator instantly. External markings indicate the Sheptel was a mining craft of the Protagoras. Oh, right. Well, that's interesting. The Francis' team will extract navigation data from the mining ship to help determine the current location. Good. Oh, so that was one of the main objectives. Nice, that's one out of three. Done. Boom. <coughs> Excuse me. How are we looking internally? All good? No major issues that I can see just yet. Just waiting on getting that tech, primarily. And we're refining polymers, so soon we can upgrade the power of this place, too. Yeah, I'm going to turn that off. I don't want to build another one just yet. So, next probe going out. Let's follow this orbital line. It's tech right there. Off you go. Right, I'm going to save on the polymer now so that we can build ourselves the upgrade to the, um, the power situation on the outside. So, get some solar panels. So Sector 3 issues are all gone. That's good. Sector 2 still has homelessness problem. So I'm going to wait until I hopefully get that upgrade to housing to solve that. We're currently... We're actually totally fine for food. All these food buildings are just wasted. See, the thing is, this only shows you production if the building's active. So I had all these buildings placed down, but their storage was full. So they weren't really needed. So it's a little misleading. That's... Oh, it's good to be sa better safe than sorry. It's the same with here. There's just too much food. Let's just power down some of those food buildings for a little while. Alternatively, you could just add another food stockpile, right? If you want to be safe. So actually, maybe I'll do that. Food stockpile there. Let this one just keep its iron. Yeah. I'll put them back on. Seeing as we have the power and workforce to do it. Optimal conditions. No reason not to have them working. Alloys are at 141. Could build the extra houses. There's only seven un unhoused here. Negative stability because homelessness. Gotcha. All right, let's set a move order. We're going to send workers from sector two to sector one. We'll do about 30. That'll ease, ease the amount of people here. This is too many. We can handle a little bit of homelessness in each. Probe hasn't reached there just yet. We have reached down here, but both sign ships are busy at the moment. Oh, this one's actually just done. Sorry, Falcon 74. Let's check it out. We got 60 science. Excellent. Sheltered by the installed infrastructure, the Ripley's team has carefully studied the anomaly. Several theories on geysers and precipitation phenomena have been established, providing valuable mission data. All right, good. So, before I send you somewhere, I actually have to send you back to here. Um, so we're going to change this docking bay to say unassigned, get our cargo ship back on there. And then here, we can put the sign ship back on it here. Alright, so Francis Ripley, cataphract, all good. And send the Ripley back out. It doesn't look like it has to move, but I'm pretty sure if you get if you change or unassign the ship, it goes away. It like comes back home, I mean. Um, Alright, to Fargo 39. Probe scans have picked up an emergency message broadcasting on a DOLOS frequency. However, the transmission protocol is different to the one used by the Tycoon and its auxiliary craft. A window of opportunity appears to be opening. A temporary cessation of the high winds of Fargo 39 has given us a clear zone in which to operate. Well, that's obviously going to last a very long time because it's going to take us a while to get there, right? How much polymer do we have now? We've got 51 in total. We need 60. Well, we can actually set the build to start now, though. So solar panel 2, another 45 power, 60 polymer, and 2 electronics. So they'll start loading it up, but they won't actually do it until it's got everything. So we should still be repairing the hull a little bit in the meantime. Which is really just... It's obviously getting lower. That's because we have this one turned off. Did the migration take place, by the way? Am 
I don't know. I might have missed it, but we'll check in a moment. No, because we can see the amount of homelessness still. It's still ongoing. Okay, good. We're now cranking out the alloys, which is nice. And how many people are left? There's 32 pods left. Oh, hello. Crew members are worried about the number of hazards we're coming across in space that were previously unknown to us. They would like reassurance that exploration of the Immortan system will be conducted safely. Promise that no member of a science ship team will die in the Immortan system. Whatever. There's no way I can do that. Science ship team casualties will not rise above five. Or I promise nothing. I'm not promising anything. Screw that. <laughs> and you'll be happy. Alright, we've actually run out of iron in this one. That's good. And then we'll turn this one on. Yeah, I'm going to do something a bit weird. I'm going to tell this not to be cryopods anymore. Tell this one to be cryopods. Tell this one to be alloys. So just rotating those around. So that I can keep the iron just right next to here. Population <laughs> transfer complete. 30 workers have moved. Excellent. So now we can turn on our tech building and immediately go for the tech lab assistant promotion. It is sometimes among those who serve in the shadow of lights of the present that we find the geniuses of tomorrow. Absolute genius because, my god, they just are, you know, times tenning our amount of tech that we're getting. And yes, times tenning is a word. The crew's trust in your leadership is falling. So we're going into battery overload if we do that. Power supply overloaded. Is that a problem, really? Power restored. Not really. A science ship team has completed a task. All right, after clearing away the scattered remains of the Sheptil's operator, the Francis's crew was able to retrieve navigation data from the ship's onboard computer. So two extra electronics and 627 iron that we're going to have to go out and collect. Mined already, I assume. Uh, determine the cause of its destruction, yes. Oh no, it's not. Ha it hasn't been mined already. Uh, so our mining ship is going to go out and do that. So now we can say, forget that. So the cataphract is just set to getting iron ore. All right, so we'll g grab ourselves the electronics and just have our cargo ships do that as well. All right, so the cargo ships are all set to iron, basically. 30 signs up here. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, we just found this. Requires technology deep dive apparatus. Ah, I wonder, can we just get the tech, though? That seems to be available. Signs can be collected. Other oh, sign ship is making its way there. So once this is done, we'll head over there then to Parenti. Okay, good. I feel like we're making good progress. And we're generating tech now as we research technologies at the same time. That's actually something I didn't notice as well before. That this bar actually continuously goes up even while you're getting technology. Yeah. Ship has arrived at its destination. Fargo 39. Ooh, deploy the crew in... Sorry, I'm reading ahead. All right, so we read that. We took advantage of the drop in wind speed to descend and land on Fargo 39. The gravity is intense, and several of our measuring instruments have failed. Despite the extremely hostile environment, we're preparing to make a sortie to the signal location. Requires the technology exoskeletons. Can I not leave? I, I, I don't have it. I have to do... It doesn't say I can just leave it. Ah, that's a shame. A veteran Pathfinder will be sent to locate the signal's origin while the crew guide them from the Ripley's cockpit. Send all of the Ripley's crew to the signal location. Send a small team to the location. Oh. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Send an experienced scout. Just So just one person, all or half. Oh, man, I don't want to do anything. Can I not back off this? Oh, I can. Oh, I can. Okay, we're fine then. I'll come back. We're going to get the exoskeletons. We can go to Parenti and get something else. There's actually still 60 tech I didn't get here. Oh, no, you can't. Do I have to just leave this ship here? Okay, let's see if I can game this a bit. What happens if I say unassign and then I let time play? 
It just stays out there. Hmm. Well, I'm not getting it. Oh, they're collecting science. Let's check this tech tree and see where exoskeletons are. So, sign ship. Exoskeletons. 30 tech. We could get it. We can get it, like, right after we get the, um... Well, right now. <laughs> we can get it right now. Should we do it? I, I think we should. Before the invention of the EKP, it was a machine, the machine, and not humanity who explored space more and more deeply. Whilst waiting for a new stage of genetic evolution, it is by cleaving closely to the machine that humanity will discover new horizons. Let's do it. Oh, you can queue up technologies as well. All right, good. So we'll wait for that, and then we'll let our Ripley do its thing. Uh, so just to put it back on, we'll just say, yep, get back on there. Stay where you are. All right, cool. The other technology I want to get is waste treatment. And then the housing upgrade as well. All right, how's our resources? Am I forgetting anything super obvious? The upgrade is we're still filling with polymers. And we should start building now in a moment. Yes, it looks like building has begun on the exterior to build the extra... Get the extra power, and then we can power on all our factories. Pretty much. Okay, we'll just speed up time then. We just have to ultimately wait. The cataphract is mining away. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Accident. So there's a little bit more homelessness here, but conditions are optimal, optimal, and extra hours out here. Oh. oh but maybe we can move some other people then. So from Sector 2, only workers. Just move, I don't know, 15 people? Oh, sh crap. It's to Sector 3. There we go. And while nobody's building, I don't know, just add some roads. And we'll clean that place up a bit later. Another thing I want to get is the policy thing, the DLS system. So there's a lot of technologies to get now for me. <laughs> it's interesting that this also builds up waste. Waste treatment out here would be good. Caution. Hull integrity below 50%. Oh, don't be worrying about that. We're building more power. We can't repair it right now. Once the power is achieved, then we'll turn on both EVA airlocks to repair it twice as fast. Stockpile disabled due to an accident. We have built up a lot of alloys, though. If you know the time is now, really, to start rebuilding and moving things around a bit. Do we need this? Now we can get rid of it. Move it somewhere else. It's just in a fun a weird location. Team has completed a task. Population transfer complete. Good, and they have their appropriate amounts stored. It's nice. Sign ship team Francis is now done. We got 45 more tech ready for extraction. Let's go. Uh, the Shepta was intentionally hit by a projectile. After careful investigation, the Francis' team recovered fragments of a shell bearing the emblem of the UN. And the word? Edemananki. Alright, so 45 extra tech and then 30 tech is sitting waiting for us over there. And then we're waiting to get the exoskeletons right now. So we're currently at 94% for the exoskeletons, then we'll deploy it. I don't know if they have to go back to the hike, or if they can even do that, go back to the tycoon to get it. Technology has been unlocked. Boom! There we go. The Ripley's team will utilize all-terrain mobile exoskeletons equipped with geolocation tools to ensure safe passage to the origin signal. Boom. Worth it. I hope. <laughs> they all just get destroyed anyway. Better safe than sorry. Alright. Um, what else then? So yeah, just 60 tech there. 30. There's a lot of tech around now. We should be good for quite a while. Didn't even need to get that. Um... Well, it's always good to get the passive one because it is building up passively even while we're getting different technologies right now. All right, the explosion problem is gone. Food is okay, right? Food is still positive across the board, even though we've turned off several food buildings, so we're all good there. We're almost out of cryopods. Actually, there's only five left, and then I'll dismantle one of these buildings. Probably this one, and build a couple extra stock stockpiles here. 
And actually, these can probably be dismantled as well now, as we look to build more industry. But I'm not sure what. Like, waste disposal, probably. But I don't think I should get rid of the buildings just until I'm sure what else we want to replace it with. Um, so I was trying to clean up the roads here a little bit. Let's just do that. And that's ice. Okay. I feel like I've made pretty good use of the space here, but there's always... I'm seeing like things where I could definitely squeeze in a little bit more. Um, sign ship has collected its signs. Good, Francis. Head to Falcon 74 now. Oh, I guess while you're out here, maybe go... How long will this take? One and a half cycles. That takes one cycle. You have to come back anyway this way, so just go up there. Maybe when they're done, they could go up this way. All right, that extra tech we can now spend. So let's have a look. So there's the DLS center. Unlocks the ability to have policies. It costs 60. We have 55, but we'll build up some as we get it. So I think, yeah, sell housing. And then the other one is crew quarters, optimized quarters, houses up to 40 crew members in average quality accommodation. Crop farms, mushroom walls, food is fine. So not too worried about that. Solar panel efficiency, thermal regulation, power is increased two and a half percent. Solar panel pol polymer cost is reduced 10%. What are the other tech lab upgrades? Am I being very, really silly? Did we not finish this yet? I don't think we did. <laughs> All right, let's do that now then. I mean, that makes sense because every time I looked at this building, it was going up, or this, yeah, it was going up really slow. Uh, don't worry, guys. I got it. I'm, I'm a genius. I'm super, it's efficiency. That's all it is. And we'll get it. We'll get it. I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure like I clicked exoskeletons and saw myself overwrite the uh, other one instead of queuing it up. So my bad. All good though. Don't worry about it. All right. We are actually maxed out on alloy stockpile here, which is interesting. We can maybe raise the stockpile that we want to deliver to the other two sectors, just so it has a little bit more in storage. So we can say now, keep this at 175 and keep this at 75. So we've just basically said, send 50 out. And we can see them doing it, see? Five are going out that way. And by the way, some people were saying like, oh, you didn't connect your roads to the exit. There was an exit here. They only need one exit. So you don't actually have to connect them all. Because they might go out this one, but even actually come out, come up this one. So I guess you can say that there's a road going, you know, straight down the line here or something. If you want to think of it that way. 1.9 cycles, and we're currently en route to get our tech. We should be getting, I'm so embarrassed to say, more probes. We'll auto-build these now. Start looking out to see what else is going on. A new request awaits your attention. Hull integrity is pretty bad, and uh, I think they recognize that. So the integrity of the hull fell below 25%. What will we be able to achieve if the tycoon breaks apart? I will restore it within 15 cycles. Don't you worry. We're just really close to getting our solar panels built. We really need to do that. Excuse me, and then we'll get it done, okay? Don't worry. Everyone's really unhappy. They're negative. They're toxic. Turn this off now. We can maybe turn this one on. Can we afford the power? No. Alright, we'll leave it then as is. Or I could lower down food production even more. We've actually gone over. Have we? Yeah. Power supply <laughs> overloaded. Power restored. Power supply overloaded. So we are out of cryopods, right? So we can turn that off. We can dismantle this building now. A science ship has arrived at its destination. All right, we're collecting science there. There's one cycle to go. Let's see how our exoskeletons get on. And our cargo ships are doing good, right? They're delivering iron all the time. Seems fine. Our one miner is doing its thing out there. So how much is left to mine? 430 left to mine. So he'll be busy for a long time. And we've got two cargo ships working on getting it. There should be three though, right? There should be three that are out there. Oh, there's barely any to get though. Yeah. So one miner isn't really enough. Uh, okay then, what we could do is shake it up a bit, right? We could say, forget that. Put another miner on there. That's two miners working and two collecting. I'll just both get iron for now. We'll figure it out later if we get more. 
Hey, we got the power. All right, time to turn this on and get repairing. Good. Restore hull integrity to 400. So these two operating now, every cycle they're going to be getting about 50, then about 40, then 30. They should get there. 400's not that high. We have 13 cycles to achieve it, so. All right, we're almost ready to go. We've got a probe. Now we saw some material around here. We want to get mining. Okay, probe over there. Iron and carbon. So this needs deep dive apparatus on the science ships. You can come back down here and get your science over there for a sec. Alright, we arrived at the source of the signal transmission. We found a cargo ship of an unknown class that bears a resemblance to those we use on the Tycoon. It's embedded with... It, oh, sorry. It is embedded within the rock face below a large promontory. The high winds are making its balance unstable. I just realized it, this, is, this story is almost indefinitely going to be something to do with, like, time. And we're going to be chasing ourselves or something like that. I'm just calling it now. <laughs> Achievement! Necessary enhancement. Necessary enhancement. Um, so, this one takes the longest. Recover data from the cargo ship and attempt EKP repair for cargo recovery. Survey the cargo ship, recover any archived data and return to the Ripley. Recover any... Recover archived digital data from the cargo ship and return to the Ripley. Ripley. Success would allow the ship's cargo to be recovered. Let's try that. Five cycles. Alright, both of our mining ships are out there, working away. Cargo ships are now on the, en route to go pick all that stuff up, hopefully. There's 30 ready to collect, so one's on the way. The whale. The Brendan Fraser. Optimal conditions, just people are unhappy that the hull is, like, deteriorating so badly. But they'll be, it'll be fine. Alright, so we're not getting any technologies currently, yes? I think so. So, next thing then would be the DLS Center. 60 tech. And also then, deep diving apparatus. 30 tech. And we can go onto that planet. So is this the queue up button? I think it is, right? Yes. Okay, so we'll get that and then that. And then after that, maybe crew quarters, optimized quarters. Okay, so we've got three queued up. Oh no, we've only got two queued up, so you can only queue one extra one. Got it. All right, at least we've got our tech sorted for quite a while. A probe has completed its scan. Okay, so now we can send a ship to go get that. And another ship can go collect that. Alright, good. Things are going well. Making good progress, I think. Although, hull integrity is pretty bad. Trust is good. People are generally in optimal conditions. Food is maxed out still, so we're totally fine. Um, mostly just want to get that DLS thing and see how the... Oh, this is locked. We weren't making electronics because silicon wasn't available, but that's all right. Yeah, not much else to do other than just maybe build... We have a lot of alloys, so I suppose we can build maybe the stockpiles and move them around now a bit. So stockpile right here. That's going to be ice, so ice that comes in this way. I, I am tempted to say that like we should have another one here, right? It seems like it's time. So a docking bay. Uh, yeah, I guess pop it over at the edge of the wall again. And we'll get a road that connects to it. Oh, our little constructor is going the long way around. Uh, so that will allow me to have other ships then, and maybe just in here we can bring in ice, right? Anything related to food. 
Uh, so maybe just a cargo ship, maybe a couple miners. Their job is to go out and get ice or anything related to that. Yeah, so maybe this isn't actually even needed, but just for now we can even just move it closer. Alright, so, ice, nothing, good. They'll carry that over, we can free this space up then. Two and a half cycles to go. I'm missing anything else, we have another probe, let's roll. Oh, there's a lot right here. More stuff to mine. Again, we want to get everything right around us before we then move to, like, Parenti. Speaking of moving, batteries. That's also what we need. So, let's build some batteries here. Two's probably more than enough for this place, as there isn't much power, but we'll reserve that space for more later down the line. Haven't found any pods yet in this system, right? No people. How's food now? Now we're actually losing food across the entire place, but that's okay. It's not too bad. We can also resume production of this food. A probe has completed its scan. Oh, and they are building that. So now there's a lot going on building-wise. So this place will take a while to get all that done. Probe completed its scan. Got lots more. Hey, there's even ice. Perfect. So I'm going to say just really quickly, you can still mine all this. I'm going to turn off the priorities on mining these. So just say avoid these. Until our bottom bit is done. Because I've seen them going between them before in that previous episode, right? They were kind of going back and forth between long things and far things. This way I can just say, like, just don't go over there yet. Yeah? Maybe we'll go up to this planet, we can get it from there, or we'll just wait until you're done here and then get it. I'd just rather do that. And we're still waiting on the next probe. 272 cycles in. Polymers, we're actually really low on carbon, but we are mining it now, so we should be bringing some in, storing it up here. Yep, yeah, they're coming back with 30, car um, 30 iron, 30 carbon right now. I wonder, if we could, like, go here, can we kind of get in and around this area? Well, actually, I haven't fully checked everything here just yet, so... More carbon... Oh, my God. Perfect. This is great. We're just going to collect everything around us. As long as it's iron and carbon, it's sustainable. You know, it means that the probes we're sending there we're getting back effect effectively. And that iron is keeping our hull being repaired. Now, we are still operating at full repairs. We have 173 alloys in this sector, 420 total. Uh, we have nine cycles to go. We're 40 away. So it looks like we'll do that objective. Tech-wise, how are we doing? Still haven't got the DLS center just yet. We have 107 tech in storage. It's almost tempting to get a second tech building. How many people do we have available? Mm, about 15. We have 100 people not doing anything here <laughs> that could be working. Uh, I suppose just work some food for a bit. Store up a little extra. 355 out of 355, it's peak efficiency. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Cryopods, cryopods. A new request awaits your attention. Just trying to see if that fit there. Uh, new request. A science ship team has completed a task. A group of crew members are complaining about the high levels of smoke and noise in Sector 2. The well-being of the crew is a condition for mission success. Pledge to shut down factories in Sector 2 for 10 cycles? Um... No? Is there any reason to do this? Like, will I get a reward? My trust is already like 100%, so I'm just going to say no. Sorry. <laughs> I don't need your, you know, approval right now. So I'm just going to say no. <laughs> I could do it. I think fact when it says factories, it doesn't mean everything. 
think it just means the foundries, the electronics, and the carbon. And we could do that. I've got loads of alloys. Totally could have done it. But trust is so good right now, why would I? Now, maybe they would have given me something or, or a permanent a or semi-permanent boost to stability. I, I don't know. But I'm just going to risk it and say, we don't need to do that right now. So, no. Anyway, probes are done with their scans. So, we've got more stuff out here. So, again, just going to say avoid just for a little while. Oh, actually, you don't need to avoid that anymore. There's no more carbon to be mined. There's... Yeah, so you can go get that now. There you go. It's rerouted the Rushmore. Now, the Francis. You can head up to here because we're going to get the deep diving apparatus. And Fargo. We've returned to the Ripley. Recovered data has been secured and analyzed. As for the cargo ship, she almost broke up, leaving the planet's atmosphere, but seems to have held up okay. Well, there you go. Perfect, right? 40 pods and 30, 30 tech. Excellent. So we'll have to put a cargo ship on getting pods. Uh, the one that's doing carbon can do it, but lower priority. You get them later. We've got too many people right now anyway. I need to do more building, but I'm waiting for tech. That's like my big bot. It's not even a bottleneck, but I just want to get more tech before we get further building. DLS center, still waiting on that to be done. Hull integrity. Oh, we did it. We did it. Great. And then our new dock is almost built. Our guy is just doing its thing right now. And then after that is the battery, then after that is the food. Ice is maxed out. Could do with having more storage, I guess, in this place as well. Just realized, you know what? This place is going to undergo so much construction. Another constructor should really be the priority. Probably another one, actually, even. And then we can just dismantle them when we don't need them anymore. These are all priority. Lots of construction is going to be going in this. In the next episode, this is going to be fully developed. Science ship Francis has reached this place. We've got another probe. Any more resources to get? Let's just check the orbital lines. There's some carbon right here on the edge. And some ice. Can we get both? Yes, we can. God, I'm loving this game. I just find it so fun. <laughs> it's such a good loop of building, moving your ship, working against your trust, your hull integrity. Oh, power. power. <laughs> Overloaded. In the Alright, um, what can we do to reduce power then? Power restored. This is why they need batteries. So it's from this, right? So now we can put on another mining ship. So we've already got two mining ships out in the wild. We could build another one, 20 polymers. We don't have it right yet, right now. Let me just see. Yeah. I guess one cargo ship here, so it delivers ice, right? Yeah. I can never remember which one is not the one. That's it. Okay, okay. Got it. Alright, so the glue's cap. So that can go out and collect things now. So resource management, or I'm um, sorry, fleet management. Cap. I mean, get your iron if you... Well, no, don't, because you're going to go into Sector 3. So, ultimately, all I ever want you to get is ice, food, maybe people, and we'll thaw them out in that sector as well. That would be a good idea, right? Yeah. Think of it as, like, a growth sector. Yeah, nice. So we'll have our stockpiles. Probably, I guess we'll have to build some stockpiles somewhere over here as well. We can change where that mess hall goes. More stockpiles here to hold ice, food, and people. And that's what this place is. Agri-focus. Stability. We have our DLS building, finally. Oh, it's really big, actually. It leaves a gap of four to the right. You know what, I'm thinking of putting it here. Which means we have to dismantle this, and this. Okay. 
All right, and we're getting our next technology as well, which is going to be the deep dive apparatus for our science ship to go check out what's on that planet. And then we're going to go with the housing upgrade next. So optimize quarters because we have a lot of homelessness. We're getting accidents and things like that. So that'll be the next focus. So pretty building heavy episode. I mean, I guess it's going to be building heavy for a while, but we did, we did pretty good exploring as well, I think. Getting all that carbon brought into us. We have more iron out here. We have ice and iron, I assume. Was it? Ice and iron. A sector is being overworked. Excuse me. A probe has completed its scan. Sector being overworked and we had an accident here. Crew member has died in an accident while working in the insect farm. I would remind you that poor working conditions and power overload can lead to accidents. No accidents. In Sector 3 for 15 cycles. I can do it. I can do it easy. So yeah, they're in overwork. I didn't really realize that. They need more people here. Um, that's alright. We can get a few more people from Sector 2. So there's 287 workers here. Thirty people, please move in. And then we'll help everything get built. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's totally fine. What else? We have our ex next probe. I'll look in between episodes where to send that, and then we'll send it out at the beginning of the next one. So that's going to have to be it for this episode. So basically, we just got a bunch of resources around us. We've uh, done two out of three of the objectives for finding the Protagoras. So there's one more somewhere, probably in one of these hazard zones. Uh, so I'll have a little look around with probes and see, like, what are we dealing with in these places, you know? Or can we even... Oh, my God. We're dealing with... Right there. That looks like it's where we're going to have to go, but not immediately. You know, we're going to take our time, get everything we can around us, build up our sectors and our economy, find people, build up our tech so that we're prepared because the technologies that we need to go and get is mining ship, for instance, self-welding, endure dangerous weather conditions, and same here, imp improvised protocol repair. Same with the cargo ship, and then sign ships need automatic ship reparation, so repatriation, sorry. Um, so, a, sh a ship whose crew has been lost, the, it'll be automatically returned to the Tycoon. Emergency cryopods, EKP optimization, I think there's other things as well. I'll have a look around anyway for making sure that they can survive the storms. Alright, that's going to have to be it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the game as much as I am. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing, and it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.